Letter from George Washington to Mohammed Ibn Abdullah, Sultan of Morocco, from the city of New York, December 1st, 1789. Great and magnanimous friend, since the date of the letter which the late Congress, by their president, addressed to your Imperial Majesty, the United States of America have thought proper to change their government and institute a new one, agreeable to the Constitution, of which I have the honor, herewith to enclose a copy, the time necessarily employed in the arduous tasks and the disarrangements occasioned by so great, though peaceable, a revolution will apologize and account for your majesties, not having received those regularly advised marks of attention from the United States, which the friendship and magnanimity of your conduct toward them afforded reason to expect. The United States, having unanimously appointed me to supreme executive authority in this nation, your Majesty's letter of August 17, 1788, which by reason of this dissolution of the late government remain unanswered, has been delivered to me. I have also received the letters which your Imperial Majesty has been so kind as to write in favor of the United States to the Bolshars of Tunis and Tripoli. And I present to you the sincere acknowledgments and thanks of the United States for this important mark of your friendship for them. We greatly regret the hostile disposition of those regencies toward this nation, who have never injured them, is not to be removed on terms of our power to comply with. Within our territories, there are no mines, whether of gold or silver. And this young nation, just recovering from the waste and dissolution of a long war, have not as yet had time to acquire riches by agriculture and commerce. But our soil is bountiful, and our people industrious, and we have reason to flatter ourselves that we shall gradually become useful to our friends. The encouragement which your majesty has been pleased generously to give to our commerce with your dominions, the punctuality with which you have caused the treaty with us to be observed, and the just and generous measures taken in the case of Captain Proctor, make a deep impression on the United States and confirm their respect for an attachment to your imperial majesty. It gives me great pleasure to have the opportunity of assuring your majesty that, while I remain at the head of this nation, I shall not cease to promote every measure that may conduce to the friendship and harmony which so happily subsists between your empire and them, and shall esteem myself happy in every occasion of convincing your majesty of the high sense, which in common with the whole nation, I entertain the magnanimity wisdom and benevolence of your majesty. May the Almighty bless your imperial majesty, our great and magnanimous friend, with his constant guidance and protection. George Washington.